Well, Kojo is reminding us about how Ghana performed in the African Cup of Nations. No, no, like, no, 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 no. Likening it to Ogasco. <laughs> you know, Actually, after no. the group game, full of vim. And then they get to the last stage, Charlie. But that's, not, that's nothing like Ogasco. Yeah. Uh, no. What, nothing what like it? Ogasco. But you are in the final. That's the most important Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. No, wait, 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 wait. When you say when you say you're in the finals, are you talking about the finals of the Afcon? No. no. Ah, okay. Final. That's what. <laughs> yeah. That's what the Afcon. I think we had been predicting that. Uh, but so you see, we were measured. We were I, measured I, I, in I was, our. I was still very heartbroken. Very heartbroken. I think heartbroken. we all are. So. Uh, Honestly, I mean, last night. In varying degrees. Uh, it's not right, you know. It's not right for a footballing nation like us to consistently get kicked out of the tournament that, to be perfectly honest, we ought to own by now. Okay. You know? It's heartbreaking. No, I it's think we have to be truthful. I think over the last three tournaments, we've been to at least a semi-final. Mm. This time we got kicked out before we went I to think the since quarter. 2008, we've gone yeah. to the semi-finals. Mm -hmm. This is the first I think time it's that a, we're I, I think it's a, it's a good record to have. Uh, so what is a record? What what is good record no. without a trophy? Always the bridesmaid, no. never the bride. Arsenal no. is considered one of the most elite football clubs around the world. Oh. But it's Charlie, been a while. Masa, they masa, 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 masa. Masa. We are not the, talking Arsenal here. We are not the Arsenal ah. of Africa. Of ah. We are not the Arsenal of Africa. <laughs> Don't bring <laughs> that title I, I think on that us. That since two thousand and I love that you brought in that uh, that time or that year, two thousand and eight. We've become like Arsenal supporters. We seem to have this glorious patience for the Black Stars. <laughs> and no matter how, how and well they do at this nice tournament that we tend to spend a lot of millions of dollars on, hmm. well, we seem to also embrace them so not only sparingly, but embracingly. Mm. So beautiful. Aren't we a lovely country? Talk the, about the, the Ghanaian hospitality. <laughs> well, what do you expect that we can do to them? The, pre the well, president, well, so by the way, the, coach the president, by the way, coach. that would have been what I would have said. The president seems to be disappointed as well, but also optimistic. Oh, how so, did you know that? So oh, he because tweeted. he tweeted. Uh, yeah. yeah. So he said, um, you know, he was sad he about the like exit, but yeah. he believed that they would bounce back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, someone immediately said, um, captioned that one exit, one bounce back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one is you. <laughs> and then, uh, one exit. And we are, we are, we are hoping we are hoping that, that as uh, as as promises go, this one will <laughs> actually uh, be fulfilled. Okay, yeah, so can you read this right fast. there? He said, like most Ghanaians, I'm gutted by the exit of the Black Stars at Afcon 2019. I wish the team better luck next time. I'm confident they will bounce back even stronger and make all of us proud once again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When is the next tournament? In two years. In two years. Same time mm. when so it's raining, we yes. can go to sleep. Uh, enough time to bounce back. Enough, enough time. Mm. Oh, we we'll And when is another World Cup? That'll uh, be in. When was the last one? What was the last time? Last year, right? Oh, so okay. So that's year. that's. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, 2018. So 22, yeah. 2022. Okay, cool. So, you know what? Uh, let's come back to reality. Let's do the newspapers. Football mm. is off. But, but please, the reality is also that St. Augustine's won oh, yes. and are into the final, yeah. where they'll be facing Presec, St. <coughs> Peter's, and uh, uh, But you course, mentioned that already. No, I haven't said what I'm about to say. And defending champions. Okay. That's what, uh, who are the defending Saint champions? St. Peter's. Peter's. Yes. They've done very well to, to get um, <laughs> to the finals again. <laughs> uh, Presec, of course, they've won. Uh, how you many guys times? don't win Five this times. one. If we oh. don't win this one. What do you think? Do you think we, we if you don't, win? No, I think you're very capable because mm. I'm, I'm very impressed I, I because know. Augusto has gone through with massive points. I, that's what people, yeah. it's not just mm. qualifying. It's not, it's not like GSTS qualifying to semifinals with 27 points, mm. you know? Yeah. Because people qualify with like yeah. 40, GSTS. you know, yeah. upwards. Yeah. Yeah. But if you look at the point that you guys got yesterday, mm. which is like 50-something, mm -hmm. which is way more than any yeah. of the other schools. Mm. Yeah. So and already they have their highest scored points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, in this the, tournament. In, in, in so this that, that's very impressive. Mm -hmm. I will be a little impressive. surprised if Augusto doesn't very pick up. However, this is finals. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're meeting people who are very familiar, who, mm. are, who have been here several times. One thing so I've, I've, I've tried to do throughout this tournament is, uh, well, this competition, is I've always focused on how good are our boys? Okay. You know, uh, because sometimes people think winning is down to how bad your opponents are. I mean, if that was it, we would win all the time. It's not that. 
Hey. You know, it's it's about how good we are on the day. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so far, what we've done is we've shown a certain consistency. It's not just intelligence and knowledge, but it's also strategy. Mm. You know, and we've shown both, mm. which is why we've come this Brand far. Brand uh, As for what as shall for, we give you? As for um, Saint Peter's and um, and Prosec, mm. um, uh, may the may the best one come second. Uh, okay. Uh, On yeah. that note, let's do mm. the newspapers. At least they'll know that they lost. Roland, Alaska. I no, said let's do the newspapers. No, that's cool. okay. mm. uh, the newspapers. You and I were kicked out. They can't. So they can They can walk home with their heads held. So we have to start with the daily dispatch. If the Daily lose. Dispatch has on the hey. front page. <laughs> the Daily Dispatch has on the front page. Mm. Lance Corporal Wasa must face military orders as Calipo selfie soldier faced in 2016. NDCMP. Well, they have um, attached the picture of the Minister for, De for Defence, Dominic Nittawal. And that was at the request of... Now, let's move on. Housing conditions in Ashanti, Central and Volta regions. You need to get all the updates. And these ones always come from the survey of the statistical service. Down there, Ghanaians should expect to doom so soon if $700 million debt is not paid. Page 2 of the paper is where you get the details. E-voting in Ghana will cause extreme tension. According to the EC, it wouldn't cause it at all. <laughs> we we are our own cause for the tension <laughs> because we never tend to do the implementation of any policy right that's the main problem now let's look at the custodian custodian has uh, on the front page new chamber parliament makes u10 cabinet has not seen approval requests ayokobo chase use africa watch for defamation and court throws ndc scribe or throws out and this is crap it should be over ample ample leaked tape mps condemn child marriage and down there like they did yesterday we don't owe power producers when i call them that why did they uh take my lights out when the black stars were playing <laughs> yeah i just started the match all right, so that's it. I thought yesterday, they promised never to do yeah. that. Even I, when the... I, uh, I think my lights came around 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. But yeah. I thought they promised never to do that. They well, actually they put out a statement. Well, yeah. But yesterday, a lot during of... During this tournament, uh, they will not switch off the lights. Yeah, I remember. Yesterday. I, I, you remember the last... Uh, tournament? No. Or the dialogue, the trying to get the, the political parties to disband their militias. Mm -hmm. The N, help me finish it, and National Peace Council, Fantastic. the chair had NPC. appealed to PDS not to put the light out uh, when Ghana was playing in well, particular. No, PDS, PDS put out a statement. Was, yeah, uh, I, I wish we could well. find it. They put and out then, a statement saying so they put that your they will not out. switch it off. Yeah, they did. Mm. And you know, yesterday it had been raining, so... Yeah, you know? that's always an excuse. So, so once they start drizzling, they don't wait for it to rain. It's like they're waiting for the rain to say fin. Fin. Or your opaka fin. So the rain says fin. This is the Daily Graphic newspaper, front page of the Daily Graphic. Here we go. Peshi Lagoon Bridge Works Stall, five year old project turns more dangerous. A story by Ni Mate Butch. It says a bridge spanning the Peshi Lagoon near Accra remains uncompleted more than five years after a portion of the road was diverted to make way for repair works. The concrete bridge that uh, decks the water was weak, hence the decision to construct an, a giant steel bridge to make way for the substantive one to be rehabilitated. However, more than five years, the project is in limbo, posing more danger to motorists and other road users as the diversion has created a sharp turn to the left for traffic flowing from the Accra end of the Accra Tema Beach Road. And I hope that authorities are not waiting for uh, one accident or the other to occur here before they do something about this. Mm -hmm. uh, still on the front page of the paper, GBC unionized staff protest sale of companies' channels. Court of Appeal dismisses suits against graphic, and this is a case where, uh, a case of defamation. Uh, and the Court of Appeal actually overturned a decision. And the award in the earlier case, I think, was about 300,000 Ghana CDs. Presex St. Peter's Ogasco in Science Mass Quiz Final. Uh, procure exams print with prize quotation. Uh, this is attributed to the GES. Let's check out what's in the center spread of the Daily Graphic newspaper.
use your expertise to help develop Ghana. Dr. Baumia edges Ghanaians in diaspora. Cocoa board to enact law on fixed payments to farmers. And on the back page, oh, back page. I don't even have to read it. You just mm. have to see it. Fred. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. That's it. Who's that? That's our captain. The day the beba. The day beefy. The day the day the day the day the day the day the the day the beba. Okay, that's it for the daily graphic newspaper. Okay then. So I've got the finder and the daily guide this morning. I'll start with the uh, the finder. Uh, NIA, uh, 1.9 million Ghanaians True. registered. Have you registered? No, not yet. So I'm one. I'm one of the. Uh, I haven't. Twenty eight. Because I, haven't. I tried sure. three times. And oh. I went. I went there. And, uh, well, as soon as I learned that, um, uh, as soon as I as soon as I learned that there is no actual deadline, and that once this is over, you can go to a center and register yourself, I decided, what's the rush? Yeah. yeah. I agree yeah. with you. So let other we people go and queue later. in the sun uh, later. I'll just stroll I'll in and hopefully get it done in uh, uh, what, what I do for. Uh, ought to be a civilized period of time. All right. So uh, yeah, they say 1.9 million of us have registered, leaving uh, something like a 28.1 million of us to go. Uh, Volta starts July 22, while OT starts August 22. Uh, card collection centers set up in Accra. So uh, the process continues. Coco, Ghana, and Ivory Coast to set up stabilization fund. Oh, let's look into that one. New education reforms on course. No room for cynicism. Also, court dismisses application to strike out conspiracy against uh, conspiracy case. Sorry, against uh, Boahin. That's it for the, uh, the the finder. Now, the Daily Guide this morning at Banner Headline, Nana says no to MP's chamber. It's not on our radar. So, I mean, if nobody has asked him, why is he saying no? You're saying no because there are public agitations and even there are some minority, if not all minority, as well as uh, many majority MPs who say no. The Maybe no is fine, but Maybe not to sword to cutting. Because that's where his name That's came what up. he's been asked to do. But he, uh, but even we know that he's even been formally written to. Well, uh, according to the information minister, the executive had not been informed. Uh, so if it, they've not been informed, then well, what is he saying no to? So should the chief justice also come out and say I no? think you say no to the public agitation. Uh, okay. To sort cutting, that's what I say. Mm. <laughs> All right, then stop my trial, for example, for tells court. Uh, NDC, Kuyam Prekundemu, crumbling. Uh, and Volta, secessionist, set free these are the stories on the front although i've got to say um it's good and i, I know why i'm saying this I'll, I'll explain it's good that the president has actually said something about this rather than uh, the earlier attempt to simply stay away from it like oh we have not been consulted we know nothing about it it's <laughs> nothing to do with us I it's know. good that the president has actually spoken and said what his view is on this, mm. that it's a no. Mm. It's good that his view aligns with the people's view or the majority of the people's view. Um, uh, the truth is, in the end, this thing would not have happened without presidential consent, assent, whatever, without, pa uh, pa uh, what's it called, uh, uh, either cabinet approval or, you know, sign off by the executive in one form or the other, finance minister issuing money, whatever. There, there would have had to be some involvement of the uh, the executive uh, so if they are saying that this is not something they would be willing to put money behind i think it's a significant message um, to Ghanaians. all right back page of the daily guide mt enhanced pitch to kotoko samson dean heads paralympic committee uh, mane stops penalty taking uh, k balm uh, ascii airlines and others support golden arms now let's have a quick look at the uh, akusia uh, uh, sketch this morning. Um, it will come up on your screens in just a second. It's just one of the most mischievous things I've seen in a long time. Let's see if we can zoom in to the sketch, okay? Uh, <laughs> so um, it has um, somebody who looks, well, doesn't look like they've been tortured um, with a great big signboard and somebody who looks like the general secretary of a party with uh, somebody who looks like that party's flag bearer in the corner. Uh, looking over a board, 
Can you see it now? Yeah, there you go. Oh, I wish we could go zoom in a bit more. Security torture. Them torture me. 3,000 votes, electric shock. Slappings be what? Bootings for body. Jara beatings. Stones to body. And uh, it looks as if the general secretary is coaching the, uh, the individual on what to say. But the interesting thing for me is the third, the fourth person uh, portrayed in this image who is uh, offering money to the individual with a, a recorder in his hands. Who do you think that is? It's a caricature. Of who? It can say Castro, the guy who died in <laughs> the cycle. Oh, Charlie, by you. Who do you think it is? Castro has not been declared dead. I'm the saying, way. you're saying, mm. look. Where are you going? Who do you think, Mamadi? I have no idea. Mm. Does he look like a, an NDC lawyer who, who? Is a, who comes on our show Rocks quite regularly? <laughs> Me, I don't know. Ah, okay. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted us to have a look at that this morning. You that's, can buy why, that's why it's called the Propaganda Institute. Uh, <laughs> you can buy yourself a copy of the Daily Guide. And and the one in the middle looks like one. Uh, that one too. I don't know if I should go there. <laughs> it looks like someone who claimed to have been coached. Uh, Dr. Me. Let's do the Ghanaian <laughs> Times, right? Electric. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do the Ghanaian Times newspaper front page of the Times. You think Parliament you could ever be coached? Drops. <laughs> Who's that? You, do you think you could ever be coached? You never to, know. To lie on the record? Oh, no. Charlie, that's a crime, eh? Hmm. <laughs> mm. Front page of the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Parliament drops new chamber plan after public outcry. Comes a picture of Kate Addo, Parliament's acting director of public I affairs. like that picture of Kate Addo. Okay, AG fails to produce witness in Ofuswampo for deputy case. They say the witness was indisposed. Ghana cut the water cushion cocoa farmers with stabilization fan. Uh, Kolebutishin Hospital to procure new DNA machine. Charges against Western Togoland secessionists to drop the nine members of the Homeland Study Group, including a soldier accused of attempting to declare. Uh, Volta Region, okay, it's continuous uh, on page three. Volta Region, where am I? An independent state were yesterday discharged by an Accra High Court. This followed the decision by the prosecution to discontinue the case. And on page three, you find Foreign Affairs Minister Sue's Africa Watch magazine. It goes back to a story that was, uh, uh, you know, all around the Oslo, Norway. Uh, the Ghana, how, how shall I even put it? The Ghana government involvement. Yeah, our Especially office in Norway. Affairs, yeah. yeah, as in our embassy, our foreign mission. Okay, I think that's appropriate. Okay, so details of that uh, in the paper this morning. And then also Terminator found guilty of DR Congo war crimes. And in the center spread of the Ghanaian Times newspaper, UK assures, no, not quite. Let's see. I'm going to the center spread of the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Ah, okay. Like All right. Here. So, uh, yeah. talking about photos and drawings, looking Ooh, like. You're being mischievous. That's not Kojo Yang saying. <coughs> All right. So, what's in the center spread essentially is what's on the front page of the paper, details of the stories. So, back page of the paper. Zaha sends Cote d'Ivoire to AFCON quarterfinals. Yeah, Stars AFCON dream OVER. We scored a goal and the referee to disallow. That's right. All that doesn't matter. What matters <laughs> is the fact that. Ah! We don't have VAR well, in this. Techno this no, we're going to use no. it at a, some from, stage. From which are semi finals? No, quarter final stage. Yeah, but where where this is no this, this is was a, what? this is the second ah okay second yeah round. okay why why are we saving it for 
you don't have Africa, we always mm. save the best for last. I think one of the reasons they gave was that it was going to slow down the game. I don't know because it was going to be very draggy from the very beginning no, with I think all that's these the sports journalists. 20, yeah, that's what that's what <laughs> no, they, uh, no, not no, official. No, the official uh, thing was. But I bought I bought it I bought into but, it. But there's also an you know it was it's been used for the Champions League final. Mm, the in, one that we have to play play again. Uh, yeah, in which one of the teams that have time boycotted? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> because they were not. Uh, very much uh, happy with the interpretation, and it turned out that yeah. But again, that's not the excuse you're giving. It turned out that what? That the, the interpretation given to the VAR review was for a goal to be allowed was wrong. Was wrong. <laughs> How can you I misinterpret video? <laughs> ah, <laughs> but it's a human being who watches and decides that the referee goes there to watch it. I say no. Yeah, but isn't it the referee's decision? It's what he sees. At the end of it, what day, he yeah. thinks he's seen. Yeah, yeah. As he, as he, so but, does the but, thing but, help but, or not? But it's not Cap that has formally come out to say the interpretation <coughs> based on what we've reviewed. Yeah. Uh, again, oh, yeah, that's also not formal. Charlie. So, what is formal? So, basically, we don't so know. Cap, much. Cap has yeah, we don't. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Me, I want to talk about the science and math. Kuzu, what's your problem? But I want to talk about the military man. Lawyer, okay. lawyer, you, you first. Law, lawyer, Captain Wasa, must be, oh, sorry, Lance Corporal. So Lance Captain then. Lance Corporal Wasa must face military orders as Kalipu selfie soldier face in 2016. But they're already taking him through their own... Uh, but you know, it, it is military. You yeah, wouldn't sure. know much about it. Can okay. find out mm. from sources, but they won't tell you what they are doing. Indeed. <laughs> and I mean, they do have a very strict code against yeah. this sort of thing. So if they decide to discipline him, it's a, it's a purely military matter. I don't even quite get why the public... It's interesting. Mm. It's because... Uh, I don't know. I thought he got affected by peer pressure. Uh, his folks. Charlie, he recorded himself. Yeah, right? yeah. Yes. On his own phone. No, yeah. what happened was. I'm not sure. In it, like, so he would have put it out himself. His secondary school platform. So people, will, everybody was doing videos. So he also decided to do one. <laughs> peer pressure. Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> My own interpretation. His second, I was going to ask his second is going to be, do they wear the uniform that he wears? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> you know what? Is that I wanted to do what? In a broader, in a broader sense, this is a, this is something that doesn't happen often. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah, get yeah, yeah. members of the military feeling moved to violate mm -hmm. their own order in matter. such a way. Yes. It doesn't happen. They always so have feelings. Yes, they do, but they never express it. You're not so, though, so he's an indisciplined soldier. No, but it means something. It means that he's indisciplined. No, it means that something that often doesn't happen, circumstances and conditions are making it such that some of them are feeling strongly enough to violate their own code just to be heard. Mm. Did he know that he was violating his own code? Of course he did. I mean, this no, is no, the sort no, of thing. No, no, no. But I think the point, the, the, the point that you're making is really important. Mm. We have to go beyond the, just what we've seen. Yeah. And, yeah. What because does it Because military mean? people, yeah. What even does it if, mean? Even, yeah, it means something. It does mean something. We have to watch it. Yeah. It does mean something. It's really important. You can't just look at it as an individual, one, yeah. one isolated means incident. That they are Pent I agree up, with you. Pent up sentiments. Yes. I agree with and you. And they are only prevented from making their pent up feelings known because of their code, right? Absolutely. But if one has jumped out of that periphery to do that, what does it mean? Yeah. And what what might happen next? You know, these are questions that we ought to ask. Yeah. Uh, we can't just take it as an isolated incident and let it slide. Um, yeah, <coughs> I agree it's not even you. about disciplining him. I mean, yeah. if that's what their code says, then it, he will be disciplined. In fact, but I think it's an opportunity mm. uh, to see, to investigate and determine how deeply rooted this is. Yeah. Is it just one officer or there might be a number of them? What other things mm. are they worried about yeah. that they want to yeah. voice out in this manner? And go yeah. beyond even the military. Look at the reaction to the chamber. Generally, just generally, both MPP and NDC supporters look at that reaction. I, I and you I hear people, you know, when you watch those videos, you see that. Look, if if uh, parliament, if this was um, <laughs> the parliament we know, parliament of old, they'll be summoning people for, for contempt because the expression of pure vitriol against, Masai, you can't, you know, 
Yeah, there are too many of them. You can't. Sure. You can't. Yeah, you can't exactly. do it. But you that's the point I'm it. trying to make. That's the point I'm trying to make. In the past, it would be one renegade who has got up and said how they feel, and all of a sudden, Parliament will just catch you, contempt you, subdue you. You apologize, no matter how big you are, you apologize, even if you are Contempt right. You, and then you, you. <laughs> you see, that is what would have happened in the past. But this time around, it's popping up from everywhere. It's like, have you ever played the game whack a -Mole? Okay, the, the, my son taught me these things. Eh? There's some game, be, like seven holes on a board, and some little animal be, keeps popping out from random holes, and you have a hammer, and you try to hit the animal when it comes out of the hole. On you hit screen, this one. Like a, no, no, like it's a a, an actual board game. Okay. You hit this one and it pops out here. You hit this one and it pops out here. That's how it is for Parliament now. No matter who they try to subdue, there will be others um, who feel just as strongly about yeah. it. You saw Kwao Kese, <clears throat> you know, in that video. When I saw that, I thought, oh my goodness, they're going to call him. And then two hours later, there was another video from someone else. And then there was um, Fia Schwarzenegger. Then there was this person and that person. I was like, okay, fine. I mean... Who are you going to call? You know, but, but the, it all the, means something. Yeah, the, the, are we? The, the, okay, the, 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 there is a general consensus around the world. It started from the period or the years when we've had the agitations following the Arab Spring. That has now transitioned across the world. And it's not only because of the connectivity of the internet, which has made many people or population groups that have some sort of education and awareness, and I'm not talking about only formal education, but you get yourself aware and educated about the things that are ongoing, that things being, that being done by the elite or the rulership is wrong. Go to Hong Kong, uh, and, and you get to feel the agitations they've, in there. They've Consistently, even in the US, because of their decision. dispensation, agitations are always a normal course and refrain. But even in countries where they have strict rules and rulers who clamp down dissent in the Arab world, else, el elsewhere in Asia, etc., you find that these are issues that are being raised about how rulers don't seem to empathize with the needs and wants of their population. In Ghana, you get to find that even people are filming from Sechri, people are filming from Kumasi, people are filming from the north. Did you and see it, that bridge? And it's, and, and it's no more about a brand or it's about personality, but it's going it's just to, to the, the general ordinary political citizens class. who are mentioning the two main parties yeah. in the video. So I've got a question. So they should question themselves. What 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 it's made uh, this? What know. made what made the conversation about the chamber go down? Is the cost deep down so that Is the everybody cost? You know, so that everybody now has an opinion on it. Is the cost in relation because to because the I absence would love. Of I would love, I would love that other, because, and it's unfortunate. I mean, I feel sorry for Parliament on this one because generally they are not the infrastructure people, right? We, we, we always talk about the fact that they, they make the laws. But they do my, my, No, my point is that I would love for this to go deep down so that when the executive is doing something, everybody will be aware and we will have an opinion on that. That's why I say I feel sorry for Parliament. Because generally, this is not like you have like made a yeah. very important what point. What got this? You have made to go a very important point, and you see, this is what I was trying to explain every time we uh, we talked about the right to information bill. Mm. This is what I was trying to explain. The reason why this thing is so important to, for the people of Ghana, not journalists, because the reason why this thing went deep down is because we knew about it before it happened. Mm. You get it. Somebody had uh, decided to hold, hold an event to launch the, 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 the design. And we all got to know that this is your intention. You intend to spend, allegedly, $200 million on a new chamber. You see, if, 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 if that hadn't happened, what you might have heard was, oh, Parliament has cut sword and they've started building a new chamber. You might not even hear about it until it's like halfway up. And oh, the new parliamentary chamber project is now, before people start asking how much did it cost, and then they'll keep, they'll shroud that in secrecy. You will never know the real cost of the project until it's done. That's what normally happens in this mm. country. The RTI bill is like every single intention of government is being launched like how the design for parliament was launched. That's how the RTI bill is supposed to work. 
So you will always know what your government intends to spend money on. So that if they promised you something and they haven't done it yet, but they are planning to spend on something that you don't think is a priority, as a Ghanaian, you can speak about it. And now we have seen how you can speak about it. You don't have to wait four years to vote with your thumb. You can vote with your phone. You can go to your community and film the reality of your life and put it out there for the whole world to see. Now people have realized that they do have a voice. Mm. You can use right. the platform of the media. So now they are getting it. That's what the RTI bill was, is supposed to do for the people of Ghana. Okay. Well, this is still very timely because this is 2019. And, you know, they tend to take everybody else very serious when we're nearing the election period, right? So way to go. Let's see how we can use the same advocacy and the same, the means that we did with other things. If we're not happy about it, let's do MajorOnline.com just before we go with some two minutes that we have left. Okay, MajorOnline.com. Don't disturb peace. Security police warn Kumia Impreco demonstrators. is on happening? today. today? Yes. Inyo. Uh, okay, also on the page, AFCON. Oh, it's Jenny Over. Tanisha wins 5 4 on penalties. We've got the conversation. Our Greek ministry bans districts from retail distribution of. PFJ subs subsidized fertilizers. Planting for food danger. It's not a uh, pressure group. Who PFJ. end up selling? It's the same people who are in charge. Uh, JB Dankwa was never chief campaigner, founder of University of Ghana, sirs. No, wait, hmm. is that it? Yeah, no, that's what you read. Okay. You read no, I didn't say wrongly. sirs. Maybe I did wrong. Yeah, JB Dankwa was never chief campaigner founder of the University of Ghana. You have to read the piece to understand, okay, it was I guess. Not, yeah. was not Because I had it said, yeah. New Chamber of Presence Agenda, uh, Parliament Service Board. Okay, so the new chamber is off the present agenda. That's it. Uh, yeah. And then there are more on the AFCON uh, and other stories uh, mm. on myjawonline.com that you can uh, yeah. go through. There's a, there's a story there by my favorite writer, it's an opinion piece. You can go and check it out. Our boys finale has preset called... clash with uh, oh. Pesco and Ogasco. Yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, the opinion piece by my favorite writer. It's called A Case of Two Huangs and Four Ghanaians. Who is your favorite writer? Go, go and look for the story. <laughs> you know who my favorite writer is. So which one would I... All right, more stories go, on the go page. Go to opinion and look for As a case of two points and, and four Ghanaians. Back and forth on this one. Then first time special Major photo reports. 122 years of neglect. The untold story of Oboase. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> As for Oboase, dear. It's a very beautiful it's town. Not, it's not only Oboase. It's, it's just been left like that. Mm -hmm. it's you a know, town it's like that left to rot. Yeah. 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 I spent one uh, th many years ago, Easter. It was. So incredible, like it was my first time there, and I loved it. And wow. I can't imagine that the place is just stored, is not even the word. Like mm. it's new chamber project was poorly communicated. Katie Hammond concedes more stories on myjawline.com. Mm. We'll leave it to you uh, to explore what we have on myjoyonline.com. When we come back, it's a full blown conversation on the Black Snars exits. Who shall we blame for this? Is it time for the coach to be sacked if he will not resign? Do we, how do we move on from where, where is this? The, uh, because if we've made it to the semi-final in you know, the greater part of the, from 2008, and we've exited, exited this time around, uh, is this a poor, the Church. poorest? Showing. Of shows Over since the last 2000. Decade, yeah. Exactly. That's the question that I'm also asking. <laughs> oh, uh, but before we the sit down proper and have <laughs> before we sit down proper and have a conversation, yeah, yeah. we'll bring you highlights of the game. If you slept early, you thought there could be a heartbreak, and so you missed it.